Hi, I'm Eleanor Underhill. And I'm Molly Rose Reed. And we are the founding members of Underhill Rose. There's heat in the air tonight With the smell of honeysuckle vines Driving past the whispering pines Motel right, What is one of your favorite stories from the road? Mm, well, this isn't exact... Well, I guess it's a road story. Mm -hmm. You and I, um, we were traveling to Nashville, Tennessee for a music conference and um, we had already toured across the United States a few times at that point and we were just like kind of spitballing about what do we want for the future and what's next and um, we decided on that trip that we really wanted to make an effort to go overseas, go to, mm -hmm. to Europe or the UK and that same day we arrived in Nashville we um, we met what would become our UK tour manager and the person who booked our first tour over there. Mm -hmm. So to me, that was a very, very magical moment. That was awesome. And I have... Do you have some? Well, <laughs> we have so many. There's so yeah. many, but I'm thinking of two gigs that were particularly memorable. One was <laughs> the first time we played at a hot springs in Montana. Norris Hot Springs. In Nor Norris Hot Springs. And we were uh, in a geodesic dome. We were playing in the dome, and we were playing two people in a hot spring. Just below cool. the dome. Yeah. yeah, so that was different. And that was cool. We got to take a dip in the hot springs. We could have performed it in our bathing suits if we had wanted to. If we would have felt comfortable, yeah. I think that nobody it would was, have thought anything different. Oh, yeah, different super, of it. Ca super casual. Another one was when we played the first time, or maybe it was the second time we played in London at the Green Note, yeah. uh, which is a historic folk club, and we showed up fighting traffic because there was some fireworks show because it was the Queen's birthday. No, 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 no that was another day. That, it was the Queen's birthday another time. Never mind. We were. So we get there, the whole, the power is out on yep. the whole street, side of the street, yep. uh, but the gig was sold out and we ended up playing it anyway to, with candle lights and yeah. totally acoustic. Yeah. Uh, it was a really intimate, really cool night and uh, people have said they really love that. I, that was one of my favorite shows for yeah. sure. The other part is that the stage is really small and Eleanor's, oh, yeah. Eleanor got to stand because she usually stands on stage left. She stood on a little crate. I did. <laughs> for, her, for her spot. And I thought I would fall off, but she thought she was gonna die a few times. So playing banjo and harmonica at the same time on a crate is not enough. By candle. It must be on a crate. <laughs> Just to add that extra challenge. Yeah. What is one of your favorite cover songs to perform? Mm. Um, right now I'm really enjoying Long Monday. It's a tune by John Prine and Keith Sykes and um, yeah, Eleanor sings the lead on it, and it's just a really lovely presentation. I love the sentiment, which is like, you and I just had this amazing weekend together. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a really long Monday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I love the harmonies on that song. Yes. Um, and I would say mine is um, In Color. Um, thank you, I forgot. <laughs> um, and it's... It's dynamic, so it's very quiet. It tells a beautiful story, and then the chorus um, really soars. And um, yeah. pe people have um, commented on that one. So both of those are on our latest live album. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah, we are really grateful for our fans. You've been the ones that have supported us this whole time. Mm -hmm. It started out as just a, a couple people and our families, mm -hmm. and. We feel so welcomed all over the world as a result. Mm -hmm. You um, have been the source of inspiration for us, for our songs. Your kindness has really like, just I think filled up, filled up my heart, I know, mm -hmm. probably for you too. Um, and made us feel like in those tough moments when say we've been on the road for eight hours straight, 
it just makes those moments feel like, oh yeah, this was, this was worth doing mm-hmm. because it was so meaningful for you. Mm-hmm. And we, we write these songs from a place of, you know, our souls need to write these songs. It's just a need. Mm-hmm. And also we, we do, we do what we do also for you, but mm-hmm. um, we're just really, really grateful when, you know, when you receive it mm-hmm. and um, show us the love. We, yeah, we really appreciate it. Yeah. You got the choice.